Hey, hi there, you guys. Sagittarius. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. I really want to thank you guys, Sagittarius, for supporting my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and three cards from the Hermit Tarot. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Sagittarius, you've got the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have Taurus in your chart somewhere, Sagittarius. There is that free birth chart calculator link all the way on the bottom of the description box below. Now the King of Pentacles is a sign of stability and wealth and security. They're a calm leader, a savvy business person. They're a steady friend, a benefactor. They're slow moving and they're materially secure. They can be an investor, a boss, a father. This is someone who loves riches and money and they aspire to great wealth. They're kind and dependable and materially oriented, and they have a lot of ambition. They're noble and sophisticated. They're very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. They earn money through hard and patient effort, and they're generous with what they have, and they share gladly. They have good instincts and patience, and they work hard, and that occasional stubbornness will pay off well and caution slows up their decision-making. But when they act, the delay often proves to have been a wise move. They take only few risks. They can be an investor. They have a disciplined eye on the bottom line. This can also represent the fulfillment of desires, something tangible completing, and having the power to manifest. It's attracting wealth giving to charity, indulging in the finer things of life. It's maintaining a profitable business, and it's fulfilling desires in the physical realm. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Sagittarius. The Seven of Wands, fire energy. This is Mars in Leo. This is the card of the lion heart. This is being on top and wanting to stay that way. It's having the position of advantage. There's deep purpose and valor and facing tests. It's being ready to face challenges. Defiant, feisty, resistant. In this position, these energies are blocked. They're stifled. There is a challenge. It can be a time of confusion. It's holding back or holding on. But you know that you now need firmness and a decision. Because any decision is better than none at all. Maybe you're feeling that you're being threatened. There is a caution against indecision. It can be perplexity embarrassments and anxiety. It's problems that can mount. And you no longer want to keep fighting. And you've begun to tire. It can be wishful thinking, immaturity, unrest, feeling like you're under compulsion. The King of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands is protecting your business, and these current struggles will end up benefiting you. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Sagittarius. Number seven of the Major Arcana, the Chariot. This could be a Cancer. This card is ruled by the Moon. This is a card of inner conflict that you control. It's being driven and purposeful and brave. 
disciplined, determined. It's being ready to move forward and feeling confident. This is a victory that comes through discipline and confidence. And it's using your words to have mastery over your own world. It's being ready to move forward and staying focused on your goal. It can also represent travel or your vehicle. This is a simultaneous wish to move forward and also the wish to stay in the secure and the tried and the true. This can be a test. It's control and momentum with willpower and determination. It can be relo relocation, a journey, a progression, moving forward, being driven and unstoppable. This is being a winner and you have your optimistic the king of pentacles with the chariot card this is coming into money this could be a victory it may even be a windfall your fourth card the card of the future the outcome the results and the advice Sagittarius you've got the five of wands fire energy this is Saturn in Leo. Saturn always blocks and restricts, especially when we're not responding to our abilities or responsibilities. This is being uncertain. There's shifting vibrations and unrest. A challenge, a struggle, a battle, a scramble. People could be bickering, fighting. There can be conflicts. All fives are pivotal turning points. This is a disruption. It can be messy people or competition in social or career areas. It's new factors that come in that demand that you change, adapt, and grow. And it's being conflicted. It's having miscommunications. There's petty obstacles and annoyances and short-term difficulties could be in communication, which, once overcome, can change things for the better. But for the short, short term, it's like gremlins, competing forces without a clear winner as yet. It's mediation. You may need to put in more effort to keep what you've already gained. It's a competition of some sort, ordeals, tests, blocks to what matters to you. It's a new rush of energy that brings in unrest and petty hassles and annoyances. So try not to indulge in that. And it's standing out above the crowd that will get you noticed. This can be a clashing of egos, working at cross purposes. And if you work together, you're able to build up things together. This can actually be a building site, a workshop, carpenters, scaffolders, creative chaos, it's okay to jump in. This process must be may be messy, but it's worth it. There may be egos involved, and there's holding your position within drama. It's a, you'll need to agree to disagree. And these differences should be examined. It is from them that new ideas and interesting compromises emerge. But be wary of stubbornly holding on to an idea just for the sake of it. Because tremendous power can be had when we join energy of others with the others instead of fighting. It's remembering what team we are on. It's okay to shake things up and see what new creative energies come of it. The King of Pentacles with the Five of Wands is a challenging business. This person loves structure. It can be a slow-moving project struggling or fighting for a solid foundation. It's kind of conflicts to success. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Sagittarius. The Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Mars in Capricorn. Mars always gives that fighting spirit. 
It represents challenges, passion, Mars, aggression, and fighting. This Three of Pentacles is synergy and employment. It's people coming together to collaborate and make something happen. It's foundations being set. It's teamwork and planning, assistance and contribution. Support from teamwork and building up a solid foundation. A solid, stable footing. This is a partnership card. And it's building things together. It's people under the same roof. A workplace. Classrooms. Roommates. Business customers. Clients. Mentors and critics. This is a project that begins manifestation, and it's using your knowledge to turn a profit, yet there's still more to learn. These are prior priorities that are being established, and plans that are being put into action, and there's initial successes. This is a lucky card. You could be a specialist. There's a clear sense of purpose and a lasting accomplishment, and you are the best person for the job. The King of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles is serious about working. It's putting plans into action, and you could soon be partnering up with a well-funded expert. The Seven of Wands with the Chariot card. This is... You that may be alone in the challenge or the battle, but you will prevail and succeed. Two sevens in a reading represent you're going to be receiving some news. It also represents cycle changes. The seven of wands with the five of, wa five of wands is arguments or fights or strife. It's conviction and conflict and competition. There could be a feeling of tension or strain. It's feeling pressure and bracing yourself. This can be everything coming at you at one time, and you're feeling unsatisfied, but your cool head will win out. The Seven of Wands with the Three of Pentacles is this is your drive and skills that are valued. These are tangible results. It's opposition, dissension at work. These are both Mars cards. It's expansion and diligence. There's aggression, challenges with collaboration. Chariot with the Five of Wands is being driven with your direction. It's willpower and conflict. You'll need to stay focused because you can expect some confusion or struggle, but you hold your own and you reach your goal, and you stand out and you make an impression. Chariot with the Three of Pentacles is taking the next step. It's successful collaboration, no negotiation. It's meeting with people who have the same goal in mind. Five of Wands with the Three of Pentacles can be a work rivalry or competition, professional jealousy, struggles at work, unrest while building collaboration. You could be working at cross purposes. Here's your first of the three of the Hermit Tarot cards. Number one, I am coming. Trust. Number one, I am coming. So trust. Ones are always about new beginnings and potential. Your second hermit tarot card. Number seven, let me hold you. Number seven, let me hold you. third her hermit, hermit card, I want to start a family with you. Number 10, I want to start a family with you. Tens are about endings and new beginnings. Thanks you guys struggle. I mean, thanks you guys Sagittarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching. Wants mom to hold her. <laughs>